If you've looked out laptops lately, then you've probably seen the word Copilot Plus. But what is it and what does it do? And what's up with this new Qualcomm Snapdragon processor that seems to be tagging along everywhere? Today, I'm going to break it down for you. Hashtag Abam Payong. Before we go into all the things that these devices can do for you with AI, let's first explore what exactly is Copilot. Copilot is an AI assistant that uses the cloud to do image and text generation. On the other hand, Copilot Plus is a variety of AI capabilities that run locally on AI PCs. To run Copilot Plus, you'll need at least 40 tops of AI processing power, which is a criteria that all these Qualcomm Snapdragon laptops possess. The Qualcomm Snapdragon X series processors come in three variants. We have the Snapdragon X Elite as well as the Snapdragon X Plus that come with either 8 or 10 cores, but these are what we're working with today. Firstly, we have the HP Omnibook X14 laptop priced at 6,299 ringgit. This particular model comes with the Snapdragon X Elite processor as well as 16GB of DDR5X memory and 1TB of M.2 PCIe Gen 4 NVMe SSD. We also have the ASUS VivoBook S15 priced at 4,899 ringgit. This one comes with the Snapdragon X Plus processor with 8 cores. It also has 16GB of DDR5X memory and half the storage at 512GB. These are some of the features we use that are natively available on Copilot Plus PCs. Firstly, we have live captions because sometimes we need to do research on products that aren't launched in Western countries. It helps us translate up to 40 languages into English. Now, hunting for the right stock images can be a pain, so I've used CoCreator a couple of times to generate images based on my sketches for thumbnails. Windows Studio Effect is something that really come in handy because we've been doing a lot of meetings online these days. I use it to blur my background and sometimes to auto-frame me if I move around a lot, but you also get a bunch of other useful features. Outside of native Copilot Plus stuff, there are also Copilot Plus enhanced applications, which are basically AI-powered or accelerated features. For instance, in Adobe Photoshop, while the more fun generative stuff is processed by Adobe servers over the internet, we still have features like neural filters that can run without internet access. You can do some skin smoothening, outright fix your face, and even transfer the style of a reference image to your image. In Premiere Pro, we've been using text-based editing to speed up the assembling of a talking head sequence. You can cut out pauses and fillers, as well as take out redundant takes with just one click. Also, if you're on the beta version, there is now the generative extend function that will help you add more frames to B-rolls in case your videographer prematurely ejects the SD card. In DaVinci Resolve, we use IntelliTrack to help us quickly track text labels onto moving objects like these headphones or track props onto subjects for comedic effect. Finally, in CapCut, we use auto captions to save us time during the captioning process since it eliminates the need to manually enter captions for all our videos. I mean, we'll still have to do some tweaking, but it definitely helps. One thing to add is that depending on what brand or product you go for, you might have access to other built-in apps as well. As a content creator, I'm constantly looking for better ways to do things here to improve our workflow and save time. So having my go-to applications like Resolve and Premium Pro run more efficiently and faster is just invaluable. In fact, some of these AI tools actually introduced new uh, techniques as well as ideas that I would have otherwise not thought of. I do recommend these Qualcomm Snapdragon powered Copilot Plus devices to anyone. I'm talking about students, working adults and business owners because these AI enabled features really will make your life easier and who doesn't want that also because these qualcomm arm processors are more power efficient than conventional processors you'll be able to get more battery life out of your devices on top of that brands can fit them with slimmer cooling solutions hence potentially lowering the footprint as well as weight of your devices however we have yet to see qualcomm snapdragon specific uh, laptops except for those from microsoft and that is everything I have to say about these Qualcomm Snapdragon devices. If you guys have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to reply to you. Also, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like and share. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell to see more content like this. And follow us on Facebook, TikTok and Instagram to see more shenanigans from the Mob House crew. My name is Shane, Bang Sawan Shane, and I will see you in the next one.